You've probably heard of whipped cheese, but have you heard of whipped brie? That's what we're going to be making today with Embok French Brie. Now the amount of French brie that you need for this recipe is totally dependent on your mixer, but the more the merrier. We're going to use three today. First thing we do is remove the rind from all three of these. Put it on its side where you cut it and then remove as little as you can. If you didn't know, Embok French Brie actually comes from the heart of France. And then we're just going to add this to the mixer. Pedal attachment on. This is going to go for about at least five minutes, but really you want to whip it until it's super, super creamy, maybe up to 10 minutes. All right, that looks good. We've whipped in a lot of air in there. It's gone a bit paler, but the texture is what we want to look at. Who would have thought you could whip brie? Now let's plate this up into a bowl. All it takes is 10 minutes to whip it up, but if you want to do it in advance, you can. Keep it in the fridge, and when you want to serve it, just let it sit at room temperature for like an hour. All right, now we're going to dress it up with a little bit of honey, because honey and brie, perfect combination. For a little bit of spiciness, some texture, black pepper. We're going to dress it up on a plate with some toast. And there you have it. Even though brie is considered like a mild flavor, when it's whipped like this, it's so much more complex. And when paired with that honey, that black pepper, it's so good.